Good morning, SBC. It is Tuesday morning, and it is a beautiful day for us to spring into the ministry of the gospel. Now, I hope that you're ready for a wonderful day ahead, and I want to encourage you to remember that this day counts. We want to live in a way that is worthy of the calling that we have. It's so easy to have our heads turned when we're in this world from the calling that God has given us. Just the other day on Sunday, we had somebody that came into the church. It was a, a couple and, and a very nice lady uh, was there with her husband and, and she had seen me. I don't know. Maybe I was running back and forth or something. I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just my height. But she asked me, she said, were you an athlete in college? And, and I wasn't really. I, I played a couple of club sports. I played some intramurals and immediately the old ego, you know, swells up and says, athlete, oh, that's quite the term. But the truth is, I I ran some track. I did some cross country in high school, and I I like to play some sports for fun. And that was about it. I was never really what you would call a true athlete. But when she made that statement, it turned my head. It made me stop and think, how should I answer I'm not an athlete. I'm a preacher. I never really was an athlete. I was always a preacher. That's because that's my calling. And you know what? I shouldn't bend or sway or move from it ever. I should be proud of it and engage it with both hands. Whether I was in a church or whether I was just a young man on a field running track or a young man running cross country through some, you know, New England roads. My calling was always the same, to tell folks about Jesus and to share the gospel. Don't shy away from your calling. So many times people will give you a compliment or or say you're really good at this or that, and it's so easy for you to suddenly shift lanes and say, you know what, I really should be this or that. I, I, I need to be the leader of the PTA. I, I need to be uh, the you know coach on that uh, particular softball team. I, I need to be the best of whatever that thing is. You need to live your life according to your calling. Listen to the Apostle Paul. He says, whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Whatever happens, conduct yourselves worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is your calling in him. That is your calling as a saved individual in Jesus. So make sure today, no matter what you might be otherwise, no matter what other titles you may carry, no matter what someone may say to you about being an athlete, remember you have a single calling to tell people about Christ because you were a sinner and he saved you by his grace. Make it a great day, SBC, and I'll look forward to catching up with you again right here at Second Baptist Church.